There are a lot of options available on how to deliver your video stream to your viewers. Strangely, video streaming is not an apples to apples comparison. There are very different needs for different content and hosts often develop features around the needs of their broadcasters. I've put together a chart that you can view on www.theavsociety.com that goes through the features and relative strengths of the major offerings that are out there, including self-hosting, but for the purposes of this short video, I'm gonna go ahead and stick to the ones that have options in the most popular encoding software, which makes for push button broadcasting. First, let's go into what a stream host is. If you're the broadcaster, you have cameras, a computer, and some other devices that produce video. Somehow you mix them so that they're all in one integrated feed. That mix is then encoded by the software and sent across the internet to your viewers, right? Well, that would work if you had only one viewer. So in between you and your viewers is hosting. Someone has to duplicate the needed number of streams to send to the individuals watching. The someone is the stream host. They take your show, re-encode it for various devices and platforms, and send it along to the waiting users. They add features like chat, advertising, security, pay-per-view, and more. The reasoning behind your pick should relate to the content that you're producing, your monetization method, and of course, your audience. Of those considerations, your audience is probably the most important one. Audience is everything in developing your show and content. For instance, Twitch has a highly active community. So, the chat is well-developed and a prominent feature of the programming that lives there. Gamers love to talk to each other and often have as much fun in the chat client as watching your content. Speaking of Twitch, if your content is in any way game related, including board games or tabletop or even collectible card games, then Twitch is your stream host. End of discussion, stop the video here, go get an account, start. If you aren't creating a game related content program, then we can continue with this video. The big factors I consider when picking a stream host are, am I going to use licensed content such as music or video? Will I be communicating directly with my audience during the show? Do I need to stream in high definition? Are commercials that are out of my control okay on the broadcast? Do I need password security? How soon do I need the video on demand to be available? Do I have budget for additional promotion? So with all that in mind, let's get into each host. Ustream. I like Ustream, but in the current range of offerings, Ustream is a little lackluster. They seem to require payment for just about everything, and in the past, communicating with the promotions team has been challenging. You really have to be popular already to get their attention. If you don't like commercials popping up every so often, you have to pay for service, which can be expensive and hard to gauge. You don't know how many people you're going to be serving, since of course you want as many as possible. So how much do you want, right? They have an interesting platform for pay-per-view services, which is nice, but overall Ustream is pretty vanilla. One note, they're fairly flexible on licensed content. However, they have been known to occasionally shut streams down for using content that they suspected was licensed, even when the owner was the presenter. This is troubling, but it hasn't happened too often since. Twitch is awesome. Once again, if you are streaming something, anything about video games or games or any type of game, use them. They have an awesome team to support all the broadcasters. They have a ton of options for monetization and in general are great. They're a good place for just about anyone with a computer or a new video game console to try out broadcasting as well. Twitch generally just gets it right and serves their niche excellently. Justin TV. Huge potential here and operated by the same team as Twitch, which means you get a lot of the same features. One of the huge advantages of Justin is the, is the relaxed copywriting system. There's no bot waiting by the trigger to shut you down. Of course, illegal activity is a violation of terms of service, but you don't have to jump through the elaborate licensing hoops that others require you to, to show a concert or something like that. There's no robot with a blackout by default waiting in the wings to shut you down like Ustream and YouTube do. This means a lot for broadcasters who have the right to show a thing, but maybe don't have the super secret squirrel phone number to tell the stream host that it's okay. Justin TV also has the same support ethic as Twitch, which means that even the little guys have a voice here. Livestream. Livestream is in the same category as Ustream with two options, the free and pay to play. They have a ton of options for one click access as well as the inexpensive hardware and free software for just about any platform imaginable. In fact, as I research Livestream, I think that they're a great option. They're just not for grassroots homegrown broadcasters. Sure, if you have the money, you can run your own ads and operate your media empire, but there's not really a middle ground option where you can earn money from your broadcasting, which is frankly what a lot of us need. YouTube. YouTube is not just the domain of really annoying internet characters anymore. They have live streaming available to all and it's an amazing feature. With full HD and tons of features, YouTube is one of the best and you'd expect it from them. They don't even bombard your stream with advertising, yet. It's still early, so that may change. An awesome feature in their favor is monetization of your content. 
You can run ads from the Google ad services whenever you like, putting you in control of how you monetize and sharing the wealth the same way they do with on-demand video. The few negatives that I have for YouTube are that it's hard to get any kind of promotion from YouTube for your live stream unless you're a big time already, and they don't have that human touch. It's definitely a black box. The system works well, but again, there's high risk of shutdown if you're broadcasting anything with copyright in their system. This means you have to make sure your contracting is solid and that you've informed YouTube of the rights. Again, I'm not sure how well this works for the small fry, but other than that, it's a great platform and I've already used it to great effect for some of my clients. When you're picking a host, think about your content and what you will need as a matter of priorities, then pick the one that best suits you. For private shows, Ustream and Livestream paid are probably the best. For concerts or live presentations, YouTube or Justin TV could be great options. And if you're doing anything at all with gaming, go with Twitch. While my list certainly isn't a complete list of all hosts, these are my favorites and my go-tos, as well as the best way to learn about all of these is to try a test stream, which is possible on all of them for free, even with a humble webcam.